power to can unite and show the sellout one them say. See? We see what we do. We want the unity for true. See? And we are going to do everything in our powers. Fe make it happen so that the blood can stop shed. That the misunderstanding, the reason why we hate each other so much and don't know why. See, all of those things can be cleared up so that we can have a better understanding or begin to have a better understanding as to why we are divided and how. Then all of this thought that I talk since I turned on this phone would have been in vain. And Queen Africa, among the many others, will just be some who tried to say things that they saw that our ancestors been echoing that people right now because it's not me alone our guys on here that share the sentiments that we are sharing is not us alone that see that something is definitely off in terms of how we country govern and the people who govern it and why them govern it how them govern it seeing so now they are getting to a point of climax where they need to put things into context they need to show the work and the results of their their efforts and so you know if you keep on resisting without without a plan and without a uh what you call now an organized approach they're just going to use brute force and push you down into the ground literally and take over and move seeing so the maroon community richard paramount chief them who know the truth about what happened to me when i came down there in august 21st 2021 is spreading it in the maroon community that that doppy box me down down a kinder tree that even the little half dead andre stevens can't come on him program come at all but that's why them box you down that's why the ancestors them box you down Donor, 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 a compound. Because that is the narrative where Richard Curry and him friend them are push in the maroon community for the maroon community eat Queen Africa. But I'm telling you guys today that I was sent by some forces and I'm sure it had to do with my ancestors and the Almighty to a compound on the 21st of August 2021. And when I got there, Everything that I was sent there to see, I saw. And the most important of what I saw that day was that there was a meeting held at the town hall. And the meeting was to reform the Maroon Constitution, to bring it to the government of Jamaica, so that they could bring it to England. And my thing, the cry that was coming from my belly was, do not leave the first people of the island behind. And I kept saying it, I kept saying it, don't leave the first people of the island behind. Don't leave the first people of the island behind. Do not leave the first people of the island behind in the new world that is setting up. And when everything was said and done, and I'm not, I know more than ever, I am not speaking to the populace of the Akompong community because they were all not there. But those who were there and saw what happened, those are the ones who went back to the public of the Maroon community and told the lies that they have been telling that Queen Africa came down to Akompong in 2021 and mad out down there. And nothing about what I'm trying to say is factual. And, and they don't want me to say what I saw when I came there, the meeting that was held, because they even had gay representatives in the meeting down there. The gay community is very much vested in the maroon community because of the power that the treaty have and that the treaty can help them to get into legislation. So when I did ask Richard Curry, why is it that the maroon is looking for a table around the constitution reform when they should be setting the table the maroon community should be the one setting the table that they all come sit around because the maroon community have the biggest power in jamaica is not the jamaican government 
Because when the Jamaican government have to answer to the Queen of England, the Queen of England have to be careful, or the King now, have to be careful how them chat to the Maroons, them, based upon the powers where the ones them, where the giant, with the British colony have. And if you have a set of black Jamaican people that have powers that were given to them by the early days, colonizers, don't you think that their offsprings would be using said powers right now? And in order for that power to benefit the entire populace of the country, it would mean that those special privileges would have to be given up by those who have them and say we are going to create something new that will include all of us. But you are going to get your paramount chief to come onto social media and to say frivolently, I want to say I apologize on behalf of all the Jamaicans. I want to apologize to all the Jamaicans on behalf of our ancestors for the, the divide that is still plaguing us from the original war that happened. And you still want us to believe that there is not a two Jamaica here that can become one by the powers of the people that hold them. These people have the powers to save Jamaica from the atrocities that are coming, but they are using it for their own benefits because they all want to lead. Jamaican people. So this is why the conversation that we are asking for cannot be had. Because at the end of the day, why would you want to come unite these motherfuckers when we can just continue to rule them as zombies? Why would we want to tell them about who they are? Why would we want to tell them them truths now? When what we have been doing have been working so well for us so far. So me just come back this morning if you come telling us say, the reason why I don't know here no movements and make a no them a plan march, you know, and them a plan all of these things. But enough for the purposes where the march is them supposed to plan for. It's for fright, no phone no look like I say, wow, something I go on, Jamaica rise up. But at the Black Lives Movement underneath the same George Soros arrangement, and them same thing they'll come right in front of the face. Black Lives Matter movement. The greatest facilitator of the LBGTQ movement. The Black Lives Matter movement is the greatest facilitator of the LBGTQ movement. Seeing? And Jamaica have the best leg of it. Seeing? So now, what I'm saying here, you will see shortly. It will all be played out in front of your eyes because they will have to come and advocate. They would have to come and say who they are. They would have to them can not them now. I can't just come in front of us. They might have to come explain who them be and where they come out and what is it and what they're gonna do because we're asking for answers here. And way forwards. And how are we gonna place the budding LBGTQ community that we have here in Jamaica? How will their podium look how will their rights play out who will lead their rights who are the people behind their rights are we just gonna wake up one morning just like oh we have the flag up at the embassy where nobody can do nothing about we're gonna just wake up one morning and say you know can't go and chat in a jamaica but this is what we have dealing with down here yes you might get the ground but if you get the ground by default and force you don't mean so you get the ground if you get the ground by pushing your ideas and your beliefs down people's throat, that no means that you get the ground. If you get the ground by sticking up people, locking down them rights, taking away everything that them want and how them want to live, if you call that fixing things and making things right, you have a rude awakening because you're not addressing the things that are really affecting people on a daily basis in a real life. The inner city community, them even, even the things say, you know, do a and kill out the masses of the inner city communities and the volatile and the poorer communities rurally and also. If you know things say, the hearts of those people and those mothers where them pity them are dead and them daughter them are get raped and the chop off all kind of sitting just a sacrifice with left, right and centre. You think those tears just are going so? You think so them blood, the innocent blood on us a sacrifice with, if you don't want a head for chop off, you make one sacrifice, go through. All right, pick one here, tear wall. Me know it's the most of the pity them we are dead have me nose too. So it kind of make me wonder how we set how we have that nose here, don't ya? See? 
if we artists them just wake up and just return back to the hearts of the people and just say, yeah, the people then we are going with you now. That is the only defense you're going to have. But if you, the people, now decide, say, if you don't defend you, we don't want to hear you, then you know, are going to have the ultimate power. Because when all is said and done, you know your rights. But if you're not defend it, who are going to defend it? Because, yeah, you're going to have ones, you're going to come after Queen Africa, them, yeah? We're going to care and willing, we don't care how your system look and how hot it get our stung and turn on them phone and say, go suck it all out, no, madam, we're not afraid of none of the people, them need to hear the truth. Do what we're going to do next. But this system, as you see it right now, is working to stop voices like these from speaking plain raw truth. Because they want the controlled truth to be fed to you as real medicine. And they have so much advanced now that you are actually believing that the lies are true now. So we have much months to December this year. Six or five? Where powers are get less and less if we continue to do a sale more and more. Where powers are get more and more if we're connected and get actively, fully active on them. Meaning, we can choose to burn down the building them, boy, yeah? or we can choose to stand in a one unity as a people. And you have to do it with the leaders of the communities, them have to call little meet them outside on the phone, turn off on the phone, phone them and left them on the yard. And go meet. Go back to the grapevine we have communicating, the telepathic we have communicating. That means to say if somebody thief in a St. Mary by four o'clock, I be a people I get chopped up and burn up because the, 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 the alarm sound and we say robbery go on and we are finding the thief them before daylight. That's the Jamaica I know. Who is there to lead Jamaica? First of all, there is not it's not like there's not people there to lead Jamaica, you know. But Jamaica was built off an uneducated mantra. Jamaica was built on an uneducated foundation. The masses was deliberately uneducated about basic rights that you should basically know that you have. So because of that, it now opened up where anybody can lead Jamaica as long as you have the kind of education. It's not like Jamaica people weren't educating themselves along the way, you know, because when they're not giving the book, we look on and use the common sense and figure out things for ourselves because we function from our art. It's with art we use, make decisions, you know. This is why them can deal with Jamaicans, how them deal with Jamaicans, so because we deal with, with decisions, them, from with heart, we use with heart to make decisions. See? So if you come and make the right argument, you'll get with heart. If you come and show the right type of sincerity, you'll get with heart. So this is why we have to go use with heart now to lead with self. We have to go start have mercy upon with self as Jamaican people. We have to go start forgive ourselves for the things that happen to us by us. Meaning after them done in slavery and do all that with them do to we, we have to go find a way to forgive with self first and then start forgive with family members. Because let me tell you something. I have to talk my personal family history because of the connection that it has to my family public family jamaica and if we are going to fix the domestic issues and the family issues that we have some of us will have to be brave enough to speak the truth that affect us in our immediate families so that the wider public especially as us as we are called public figures if you see us coping and managing then we have a right to at least show you and tell you as people who look up to us and I wonder how the nana struggles, how them does can get up and turn on them phone and do as them like. Like, them nana go through where I go through. Them. Yeah, we do go through what you guys go through. We see what you guys go through. We experience a lot of what you go through as well. Because guess what? We are human beings who have the same bodily functions from a universe that we are all a part of. Same eyes, same eyebrows, same ears, same nostrils, same nose, same mouth, same lips, same amount of teeth, same way we face look when we are here, same way we look when we are young, same shoulders. See, everything about us as a people overall is similar. The item say. So this is why it is not impossible for us to lead ourselves in terms of how we see ourselves. In order to lead, your, lead yourself, you have to be able to see yourself. 
If you can't see yourself, you can't lead yourself. And Jamaican people have not been looking at Jamaican people for the longest while. We've been looking at everything else except us as a people. And how, when we used to look at us as a people, how we used to manage. When we used to look at us as a people, we used to farm together. India have now cut off their grain supply to the world. India have cut off their rice and grains supplies to the world if you are here on this platform in jamaica and you have lands wetlands that can plant rice and all of these things i'm begging you please with everything inside me whether you register or don't register start plant rice and uh, any green and uh, anything if you don't have land or uh, have access to any little family plot start to plant it up start to put food in the ground because food crisis has begun it is not coming anymore it has begun russia them can you imagine that africa that have 50 odd countries within it is depending on russia for food then who jamaica go depend pan who jamaica go depend pan that's why we have so much supermarket that set up down here and so much fake place and so much false food because when the food shot, it shot shut off and no, no, no natural food, no, no, the grounds to eat. We have to go eat what they gave us to eat. And you are what you eat. So, Mr. Tufton Pharmacy, them, you think say a KFC line I go long or the pharmacy line them I go long? At the hospital line, them are go long. At the clinic line, them is going to be long. So I am beseeching everyone on here who have lands that they have access to, seen, and can start to do your own little. Juke your little things in at the ground with the little short crops. Please start. If you use a procrastinate, stop. Stop procrastinate. And Jamaica, no weapon the face of the earth, no have the kind of land where we have. They don't have the kind of food where we have. They don't have the kind of fruits, the kind of vegetables, the kind of medicines. They maroon them, have them up in the cockpit country. I decide, so they're going to sell it back to Uno. The Jamaican people, then when the other clubs kick off down here, we are going to buy it back from them. We all, as Jamaicans, should not be thinking like that. We should be looking out for each other and telling each other that we need to go take up farming. Agent Sasko. Big up your nice, clean, sexy married self, babes. My love when me see her do on a St. Mary for build a little natural village where we see them Jamaican have gone knock on your little gate round there for let in. Because nature is the biggest investment right now. And Jamaica have the best nature anywhere. You know, Africa we motherland barn down because some people me notice are going like them even want to say Queen of Africa as say she an African. Can you fucking imagine? Because I know the truth. But who me is? Me is that a broad brush African. Me is a free African. Me is an African we never colonized yet. Me is an African we no slave master can give a tough talk. Me is an African we don't see myself like a subordinate. That's the legacy that you stand on, Jamaican people. Bad people were not afraid. And then the rebellious Africans now that came in the slave trip, they all joined with us. The free African them and I saw Jamaica army they get so terrible and dreadful upon them that them decide say at all means necessary we have to lock them down and that's why they still try to lock we down all now and it's still not work because our leader of our army is the Almighty. A him give we orders. So at that them I try shift or we take orders now because them want us to take orders directly from them now. So me I beg the eye them if if India lock down grain now. Russia said to America, say right now, 
Me I said migraine them go African suckers of Africa bigger and uno. If them have 52 country and uno does have 52 state, then a who big? Seeing? Africa have all the resources that the world use come from Africa. That's why Russia them smart up and I say, oh no, can't stay there. No, when they know where we fight for. Where we are going to fight for? Guadalupe? <laughs> because if you say Guadalupe, you know I love you and you were fighting for. <laughs> See it? So Africa, I and I, Africa. Jamaica is the upper valley. Like how Maui is the upper valley of Hawaii. Jamaica is uh, the upper valley of America. Where them bond and go build back new, they know. See it? Them a bond, a bond, them a bond down Jamaica and a Billy back new too. It's just that they don't know how to come in power because our greatest resource down here is the people. So you have to be careful. No matter how docile and battered down we be, you still have to be careful how you approach it because you never know where you have a buck up blood clot in So we are selling the little time we don't have left. Jamaican people where farming was the biggest thing. They run room upon Aki what they call them want. We Aki them figure export and run room upon Aki a pies and all of a sudden we just lock down Aki a cut way off a Aki a lie. Them a blood clot tell. Take up back Aki. Seeing? Protect with market space them. You see them you see you see the shit water when they flood up. Remember now we know. 2020 when COVID come. Me see down at Kingston get the beard. The beard where me see down at Kingston get soap water from. You walk downtown Kingston and you smell bleach for months. Then wash downtown clean and white like snow. When COVID arrived. Who did see the beard? Where downtown did get when Mr. COVID did just arrive? The wash off where the mayor. Get downtown Kingston. The beard in the whole... Yo, me say me, the woman watched it and I was so, I felt so good. I was like, blood clot, them a beard torn. <laughs> Wet on get feet. Be a shit water run through the market, them down there now. Why? Cause them need down town and the vendor them, then can't go down. They go tell them, say we need them spot here, you know, cause we want to build up this new down town waterfront, Jamaica, yeah. So then turn on the shit water down there running months. It around five people. They must come over here. Hey, the shit water. Send me one powder color there. Why the shit water? Because Jamaica survive under any blood clad condition. I don't give away we survive underneath it. But we not take anything though. And we say we not push it too hard now. So me I said Jamaican people are we have to protect with market places them. We market space them. Are we have to protect them. Seeing? Right now, I'm not even sure if shit water clean up from the market here them yet because the agenda is to flush you out with the shit water. How is part of the food I sell? The government now flush good on there with the hose them. The disinfectant water, the bleach water, the special, this thing. Me say when me look and see how the hose them are thumped down the blood clot. North Street and East Street, you know me I say yes. Then supposed to me think they me that got beard. Jamaica like every two months, every three months. So Jamaica does get a nice beard. Like you just say, all right, every three months we are going to pattern this. We are in every three months we are got beard downtown, and we are got beard. You see, all the vendors out of half a tree and I need them line up on self cars. The time numbered. Them need the place to look beautiful. If you went in the new city of Babylon established out here 2030. All somehow we have to go just walk and look on pan this new Jamaica. You go to half a tree, I wonder where the fuck you're there. Cause Jamaica won't be looking the same. You see the big old green building where I go 200 miles up in the sky? Mm hmm. You think I, you think I, you think I, you think a commercial? You think a, <laughs> you think a commercial building? You think you think a commercial building? Look here. As long as slavery been going on, there is a set of people who never experience it and they are found here in Jamaica. And if we do not make a move upon ourselves right now, we are about to experience slavery for the first time. That set of Jamaicans are about to experience slavery for the first time. And that will be the end of the world 
and them controlling and conquering us. How are we going to hit back against it? We are going to hit back against it by beginning to start planting food again. Have you come help my farm? Me come back and help your farm again. Mothers in a Jamaica will not give up. The Jamaica, me not ready for address my fellow Jamaican women them yet. Why? Because I'm very sympathetic towards us as women in this country based upon where we go through how we go through it. Jamaican woman, how we go through it. So I'm not really ready. Even though sometimes you see me come down upon spice and all of them. I know from hatred. I know from nowhere personal. Because I see how powerful them could have been at the world outside of shaking out them nice vagina and them bottom them. And them other things them where them are do. Just imagine that unity of women there coming together pan a front line as women. Oh, there's no other women of example now like the Jamaican woman, you know. Just look how much look, just look how much woman we have pan the front line in the world now. Beyonce them and the whole of them born out of it. If you notice all I want, Nicki Minaj. And I want to address you right now in another spot here, Nicki Minaj. See? Big up children again. But I want to say to you, Nikki, you know why I love you over the years? I always notice as a little girl from the Caribbean, you stick to your wildness. Yes, you got BBL and you start out enough of a little girl and with the fake body thing. But when it did matter most, you stood up. When was that? In the COVID times, when they had the Met Gala. And everybody who was supposed to enter the Met Gala would have to take them job or something like that. And it was said that Nicki Minaj was invited and didn't go because she refused to take it. And immediately, for me personally, whether it did go so or not, me did give you a lick more ratings for that Nicki. As a, as a Caribbean girl, upon the level of big that you are, you know what I mean? I say them fight you and I feel say most now me accept say it's probably because of reasons like that. You know, sell your soul fully. You still have a little moral compass, boy. When I worry about you with though Nikki is when I see her do on TikTok. I see her do something on TikTok where very dangerous. Not only for Trinidad where you come from, but for the rest of Caribbean and Jamaica. And then, by extension, Africa and the world. Because they see through the eyes of Jamaica. And you guys, I think, know this. So when you go on TikTok, Nikki, and you're saying that you love the Jamaican TikTokers, and you're picking and choosing who you're gifting and who you're associating with and who you are, may I notice the people then where you are pick. And I send gift to. You have one creature where they pan it, one man. I'm not going to call his name because I'm not giving no validation. I share a name when I share as well with an with a individual. See? And I notice you gifted him the other day and it's the biggest talk on TikTok that you gifted him. But we as Jamaicans would like to know who that man is and what kind of role him play. Because we see him, them take him and them dress him up like a transgender Put him in a makeup and ear. He said the most dirty and nastiest things them when we could have ever hear come out of any individual. He my loud for say them something the pan pan TikTok. See? And you Nicki Minaj over there, I give him. Now, there's a next little girl on there that you form a friendship with named Brittany Goff. When Brittany Goff first entered onto TikTok. She came on with the worst trauma any one of us could have ever seen. An experience out of a little girl who said, I saw her as my daughter called my daughter at 23. And when I saw Brittany Gough, I cried real literal tears because guess what? I saw myself. I saw myself figuring out how to deal with traumas and how them affect you. And it affected me on a personal level to the point where I was moved to go and man to go be a good drive out now would and search for her and find her. Because me nobody just want to go with where me I see on social media. Me did want to go meet her in person and really see if I actually act or she really need help. And so I went, 
knock up her door. She was she was like, where you doing my yard? See, because when I tell her, I say, Queen Africa, she was like, Queen Africa, where you doing my yard? See, and I say, are you come to come link? And she said she'll come to me and she come outside. Mm -hmm. And I sat and I had the greatest conversation with her. And I saw in that moment that that little girl had so much ambition in her. There's so much that she personally wanted to do as an individual for herself. But the things that will happen to her, if, you know, if you know, for those one here who have an idea of who Brittany is, you know, can't go find her on TikTok, she named Brittany Goff. See? This little kid was brutally raped, sodomized, all kind of dark things happened to her in her teenage years. And now at 20, early 20, she's now at the point of trying to figure herself out, to rise above our circumstances and to live on above and beyond these things. And she end up on TikTok and become a sensation because I think mostly because of her natural, the person who she is. So I went and met her, I sat with her, I told her that I was willing to pay for anything that she wanted to do. She, she said she loved cosmetics, she said she loved uh, makeup and stuff. I offered to pay for her to go to the makeup school and, you know, get it done on a professional level. However, she said to me that she don't necessarily want to start that right now. She want to stay on TikTok and do her thing on TikTok because she have people on there that love her and she's just going to, to stay there. She's going to try to change her behavior and try to do better by herself. And to be fair to her, for the most part, I've watched her try to do that. See? What I notice about my country is that when you have girls like Brittany Goff, who have been through a lot of negative stuff in their life and is trying not to become victim for got on prostitution and grow on a back road and just call it a day and end up in a taboo and then place there. She's fighting back and trying to do it her way and to try to fight for herself. There's not a lot of people to encourage her. So now she's enemy number one over TikTok because she now do the things them on TikTok again. And she now go on with the madness and she had try. Nicki Minaj give her some gift and she give back. Nicki Minaj the gift them because Nicki Minaj I take talk from some other people. No, Nicki Minaj, I would love for you to know Brittany Goff for herself because when I went there, she turned me down. She said, Me not really I look undoubt queen. But just want to get myself on my foot and be the kind of person where me really want to be. So when Mr. She give back Nicki Minaj them, I never saw it as her being negative or trying to be bad mind. It's really so the little girls stay for true. Now, Nicki Minaj and Falar and this who, I mean, no, Nicki Minaj I try to promote her new album where I come and everything. And everybody knows that when you want to get it through the portal of Jamaica, you have to walk through. So again, I want to say, find, find, find the right kind of relationship with Brittany Goff, um, 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 Nicki Minaj, so that the kids in, in, in Trinidad, the girls, the vulnerable girls in Trinidad who are impressed and, and, and inspired and, 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 and are, and our and our patterning some of the things that they see happen here in Jamaica, they can see you finding some girls who are not necessarily trouble and in trouble to associate with, and check out people like the man where you send the gift to and talk about your friend and them something. They find out what kind of character him is. Find out if not like a boy did we a ball about no rape where they get her. You understand? We not judge people by them choices broad brushly. But some sitting where we hear them people they talk on the TikTok page and some things where we hear them friends talk about them. These things where the advocacy groups them in a Jamaica, the children rights group them. Me think them need to join them up there and really are listening to some of them things that where them people they I say. Them I do. Before we not empower them and turn them into influencers for we little boy them and see them and see say if Nicki Manager gift them maybe I saw so them need to look and so them need to act to get attention. So Nicki Minaj, me I said this to you, sis, sexy Dolly girl, Trinidadian, Caribbean, know the wildness so we attack from and know we no care. Say so careful. If you not do that to Trinidad children, don't do it to Jamaican children. If you're not doing your thing we are doing on TikTok with Trinidadian children, not do it to Jamaican children. Find influencers that are going to make them be better of themselves, not worse. Find things to associate with both my country. Just like you see Queen Omega, they would associate with reggae of Jamaica to become the Queen Omegas, them where they are becoming in the world. 
Make the little girls them we want become. And the little boys them we want become like Nicki Manaz. Don't see, don't judge you by the people them see you associate with out here. The scrubs of with society. The nothings of with society. We've been doing it for the longest while. And getting away with it under the guise of creativity. But it's a greater monster on our serve. The devil. That is why when ladies are jumping at the middle of the day and I say, all right, Brittany, give her about the things then because, yeah, that was right for her to do. I hope she wasn't doing it from a corrupt place because we know how that stay one time. Them, them talk truth, them not talk truth for truth's sake. They might talk it out of them personal feelings them. So I was very much appreciative of the fact when ladies are tell Brittany to give back the gift them. See? That is the work we want you to lay the staff. Keep the devil away from the children. Don't lead them to them. You see me? So because this hop, when you have TikTok now created, for be one of Jamaica people, biggest distraction ever, especially for the inner city and the underprivileged among us. The whole I don't know over there, Andrew Wall is missing set up TikTok page. The whole of the labor right government set up TikTok page. I'm busy over there, put up video after video. Because they might realize, say, eh, are the outlet that we Jamaica people have. We then can't be and do anything and hack anyway over. The whole I don't line up over there, recruit. Batman, Missy over there as pastor, Anglican pastor, over there, recruit. All kind of recruitment are going over TikTok. Because nobody now pay attention to the youth them we are with upon TikTok. I be a little girl in a classroom. I turn on phone I go upon TikTok. See? While teacher teach. Them the upon TikTok and man, the pony I talk about when you come off, give me your number half here. And we know see no TikTok police. You know the farmer with advocacy groups them. For help, for pay attention to the button you know, one come regulate. People like we and your oldness. And we you want to come regulate. But you know, really regulate the pedophile them and the, and the, and the, and, and, and the predator them. We line up and we pick them over TikTok. You over there, sh I create page with them. Because at the end of the day, as long as you can get a vote, anywhere you know, you know we take it. See? At the expense of we youth, them psyche, them culture, and everything where them believe in as human. We see the influencers we want to have. World dog, me lose half of your babes. Because I did watch what you do with Brittany. And she say, all right, yeah, yeah, you, you find out how to make some food on the internet. And the whole around you now gone over there. And you have no one on the head and I chop down on the one on the head. And me, who I choose fish and fish over there, gill lion and this and, and everybody that are going. That is who no farming in the culture. That is who no farming in the future. That is who no making people think, say, everything what you do, Jamie, all of Jamaica judge by it. And, and this is to make the world know, say, do not judge Jamaica by all I want to see a go on pan TikTok. As half a oof it on TikTok as Jamaica never know that there's a TikTok um, out there figure upon. So I still, the wounded ones, you see me, who no still have overfeed with the poison. And them are the ones that are going to be the vultures in the apocalypse. We are going to run out in the road because when them turn off the TikTok frequency, they're not going to have nowhere else to go outlet. So them are all just be a foolish, it's going to happen. So we are saying, Nicki Manaz, why we know, so yeah, yeah, promote a new album, babes. And I wish a new album well. You don't know the relationship between Jamaica and Trinidad will never change because it's a love when I have nothing to do with individuals. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a spiritual link between Jamaica and Trinidad. See? We just want to say, pay attention to the positives about Jamaica too. Nikki. That boy, when I see her send gift too. Whole heap of other youth where I try to do better things where they're on the platform where you have to share a gift with. So that you can, if you share a gift, you draw attention. Come in the one my little 11 year old know about that boy there. I even know say it exists. When time when you use phone up 100 and had million powers and then dust them darkness there in my country. As some little boy that you not soul that you not make a go away because they must say if Nicki Manaj endorse him, then if I'm you endorse him and give him the gift, I'll be a little boy and see I put on frack and a comp and bumble claw tic tac. Nicki Manaj, that you are do to my country. Yeah. And you know, see, no one in Jamaica try to shoot that in a Trinidad. 
Because where we try to show that that is the culture of who we as, are as Caribbean people. So who allow you to come and try that to my country, Nikki? Who allow you to come and try that to my country, to my young people? Them? I mean, I try to do that. I know we are celebrating and try that to your young people. Them. You see me? I don't know if you leave Jamaica.